directional coronary atherectomy, like PTCA, is a minimally invasive procedure to remove the blockage from the coronary arteries and allow more blood to flow to the heart muscle and ease the pain caused by blockages. The procedure begins with the doctor injecting some local anesthesia into the groin area and putting a needle into the femoral artery, the blood vessel that runs down the leg. Once the needle is inserted, a guide wire is placed through the needle into the blood vessel. Following this step, the guide wire is left in the blood vessel and the needle is removed. An introducer is then placed over the guide wire, after which the wire is removed. A 35 thousandth inch guide wire is put in its place. Next, a diagnostic catheter, which is a long, narrow tube, is advanced through the introducer over the .035 inch guide wire into the blood vessel. This catheter is then guided to the aorta and the guide wire is removed. Once the catheter is placed in the opening or ostium of one of the coronary arteries, the doctor injects dye and takes an x-ray. If a treatable blockage is noted, the first catheter is exchanged out over a .035 inch guide wire for a guiding catheter, after which the wire is removed. Once the guiding catheter is in place, a 14 thousandths inch guide wire is advanced across the blockage. Then, a catheter designed for lesion cutting is advanced across the blockage site. A low pressure balloon, which is attached to the catheter adjacent to the cutter, is inflated such that the lesion material is exposed to the cutter. A drive unit located at the proximal end of the catheter is turned on, spinning the cutter. A lever on the drive unit is advanced by the physician, which in turn advances the cutter, cutting away pieces of the blockage. These lesion pieces are stored in a section of the catheter called a nose cone and removed after the intervention is complete. Together with rotation of the catheter, the balloon can be deflated and reinflated to cut the blockage in any direction, allowing for uniform debulking. A device called a stent may be placed. This is a latticed metal scaffold that is placed within the coronary artery to keep the vessel open. After the intervention is completed, the doctor injects contrast media and takes an x-ray to check for any change in the arteries. Following this, the catheter is removed and the procedure is completed.